friends and fans of Bob's Barn Workshop. Today we got a plan because a couple weeks ago I had a hornet's bore a hole through the ceiling in the closet in my bedroom and I sucked up a crap load of them with a shop vac up to the hole. Well, we got to focus here. Anyway, I see where they're coming in and it's up behind the flashing on the metal roof and up on inside the gutter. So how am I going to get up there and uh, get into that? Look at them. There's a lot of them buzzing around up there. So what I'm going to do is I bought some inch and a quarter pipe. And I'm going to make a rig, a jury rig, so that I can hook it up into the and lay it up in the gutter so the end of the pipe is near. I have done this before, uh, killed bees and sucked up bees with a shop vac. It works really well. That's how I caught them in the house. I got a shop vac full. So I'm going to get them from the outside now. So I need a little coupling piece. <laughs> I'm going to put it together. So you understand it. <sighs> Take the short piece. I, I sized the hose on my shop vac so it would fit inside this inch and a quarter pipe. So that butts together. I'm going to offset the angles just a little bit so that the weight of the pipe wants to force the end of the hose that's laying up there down into the pipe. See the noise of the vac, shop vac really ticks off the bees and they come and attack it and they hit the vacuum and they get sucked in. And it works like a charm. My old buddy Chip taught me how to do this. Chip, I appreciate it. And I need to get a little bit longer piece than the other one I caught. So just a little bit longer. Very scientific. Now this guy, this is going to hang out, this guy's going into the bottom, this guy's going into the gutter, like this, and this pipe is going to hang down, this pipe is going to hang down long enough that uh, that uh, I can shop, hook the shop vac hose up to it without trying to elevate the shop vac, right? Right. Okay. I gotta get this all taped together. I'm sure this will be just fine. The tape on it. Own it. I don't say own. Shove him in there. All right. So 
I'm, I'm just going to show you an example here how this is going to work. So this is going to sit. It's got a strap on it. It's just going to go into the gutter like this. So the end of it is near the entrance of the beehive. And hopefully that'll really tick them off. And we'll get rid of the bastards. Sons of bitches. I can see them popping out of the hole right up there. So I know almost exactly where the entrance is. Entrance is almost exactly right there. I'm really happy that I got a pipe up in there. Now I gotta go get the shot back. That must be a screw right there. Alright, I'm gonna go get the shot back. Okay, so I got the shot back hose taped up into the pipe and I just got to run this one cord over my one extension cord wasn't quite long enough boy that's a joke and we're going to run it so we don't see any more bees there we go the noise and the stuff buzz in there but um, there's kind of swarming around the entrance now so we'll just have to wait and see time will tell if this collects any bees all right that's pretty much all it is for now guys I'll let you know the progress when uh, we figure out if they're gone well, guys and gals, I gathered up the, uh, it's dark out now, it got dark. I let the vacuum cleaner run uh, in the gutter until it was nice and dark. All the uh, bees are supposed to return to the hive by dark, I guess. So, maybe I got a bunch of them when they were returning. I'm going to check it out again in the morning, see if there's bees buzzing around. And I'm going to, I left the pipe up in the gutter. So we'll see tomorrow morning if there's any buzzing around and we'll turn it on again. And one by one I was watching them go in from a stepladder. So I am getting some. Uh, it's just not machine gun, but I'm getting them. I'm getting them. So hopefully we'll get them all. And I'm working on that VW suspension. I, I got a couple of bad parts that I don't I didn't anticipate, so I had to order some from JBugs. So we'll be back on that soon. Well, good morning again, guys and gals. Back to Bob's Barn Workshop here, and I really think I've got the vacuum set back up in the gutter today. I turned it off for the evening, for the night. And yes, I am seeing a few bees, but I get up here on my observation ladder and look down at the end of the pipe, and slowly but surely, one by one, they're getting sucked in as they return to the hive opening. And uh, I just think if I leave it long enough, I'm going to get them all because they eventually keep sucked into it. And I'll show you what I got from the inside. Of my, be my bedroom closet is right inside the wall from where that hole is. My lovely front yard. What a lovely day today. The lovely wife. I just want to show you the number of bees I caught. I mowed yesterday. This fall weather is making the grass look beautiful. No weeds. Like a golf fairway. This is what I sucked out through the house. How many thousands of bees do you think are in there? So I got a lot out through the house. We'll just let that run. And I'll check back in with you later.
Well, guys and gals, I left the shop back running all afternoon. It's going on sunset now. It's a little after 7, I think. And I took it down because the shop vac was making growling noises. I think it burned its bearings out. I left it going for hours when I went to the car show. I don't see any bees coming in and out. Of that area at all. Nothing. I think I got most or all of them sucked up. And I got a feeling that they will abandon the hive now. Now what I found is by looking at that metal, you can't really see it very well. But above the gutter, there's a black flange that hangs down that's the uh, drip edge from the roof. And I think if I put screws in that every 18 inches or so and suck it down tight, it'll close the gap where they can get in all the way along there. And if I have to, I'll run some caulking to just seal it up. And uh, so I think we're done. There you go. I guess that's how you get, that's how you get rid of the bees in your house. Uh, shop back. Put it near the hive hole, let it run, let it run. You know, I had some one year that were in my concrete foundation over here, but coming out kind of under the siding by my back step here. And I did the same thing. I propped up the shop vac hose on a couple of blocks near where they were coming in and out of that siding over there and let it run all afternoon. And when I didn't see any more bees, I turned it off and I never had any more bees, so I sucked up the whole nest. And I think I've succeeded in that. Between the two, I did spray, uh, I'll, I'll show you before I end this video, so I won't end this video today, I'll end this video tomorrow and uh, show you how many bees I actually caught this time on top of the other thousands that I caught the other time. And it's harvest time, the harvest moon was last night, I got apples on my tree that uh, unfortunately we're going to the southwest to go to all the canyons and Bryce Canyon and Arches Park and Grand Canyon and all that for a couple of weeks. I had airplane tickets free so I gotta spend them to do something. But I'm already having apples drop. My local deer population will love it. Yes, upper upstate New York has a huge population of white-tailed deer, wild turkey, rabbit, squirrel, partridge, such things. It actually, people don't believe it. It is a great hunting state. All right, guys. Um, and I'm also preparing to go to Busco Beach at the end of October. I think it's the 22nd is Friday, 23rd is Saturday, and 25th. So Friday night, everybody arrives. We might get together that night, bonfire, whatever. Saturday, we do a bunch of rides through Busco Beach Park, drag strip, long tours, whatever, more cookouts. Sunday, we kind of have another meeting and leave by, by noontime. So it's always a fun weekend. I went once two years ago in April, and it was the muddy weekend that everybody was stuck. Um, hopefully, this is the end of summer. It'll be dry, and my vehicles will move much better. Okay, guys, God bless. We'll see you next time, and I, I will show you that reveal of how many dead bees I got soon as uh, I wait long enough for them to be dead. Oh, and I talked about this before. Here's Bob's barn. It's 24 foot wide. I'm thinking about, and I'm trying to get a contractor arranged, if you see the stakes in the ground here, of building another 24 foot by 32 foot addition uh, with a 12 foot ceiling and a shed roof that goes up to the barn roof so I can put in a lift and have room to work on all my cars instead of crawling around on the ground. I got the Mustang, 67 Mustang that's got a new engine going in. I've got the Beetle that needs a lot of work. I've got my own personal cars that I want to keep running. I really need a workshop. Maybe it'll improve my videos. <laughs> I worked at Kodak and we used to say, if you want a better picture, bring a better face. But anyway, all right guys. I'll show you for the bee reveal. 
Well, I'm pretty happy about the uh, bee extraction. It's 24 hours later, and I don't see any bees coming in and out of that spot where they were. I mean, there's a few bees buzzing around, like the gutter, at different places, and up on the roof, but I really don't see any at all. We've got an apple tree here and it really attracts the bees because they like to eat the fallen apples. And right now this time of year the bees are after sweetness. Well, let's see how many we got in the shop back. Okay. I'm going to be a little careful here. First I'm just going to pull this out. I see lots of splattered bee guts. <laughs> I noticed in the pipes where I took it apart after I sucked them for a few hours. Oh yeah, there's quite a few in there, in amongst the dust. I mean, not gazillions, but they're all dead. That's what matters. And I really don't see any flying around out here. So I think my bee extraction was successful. So that's it. There's the trick. I've done it several times that way. Um, you can see where they came splattering in and hit the inside of the shop back there. Oh boy, is that thing dusty. I should have cleaned it first, huh? All right. Well, hey, here's a how-to video. How do you clean your shop vac filter? Take it downwind and pound the poo poo out of it. Here, there's a tree stump right here. Oh, yeah. There's a lovely wife coming home. Partner for 47 years. All right, guys. That's it for this video. I'm on my way to Arizona and Utah for a couple of weeks of vacation. So Bob will be uh, offline for... I'll try to get this posted tonight. We'll be offline for a couple of weeks. Okay. Dead bees. Take care. God bless. We'll see you next time.